Let's look at this equation. This one's a little bit more involved. There are two ways you can do this. You can distribute the 4n into the parentheses, or since 4 is being multiplied times this side, I can actually just go ahead and divide both sides by that 4 and get rid of it from the beginning. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide by 4 and divide by 4. So I'm going to be left with n plus 10 is equal to negative 4 divided by 4, which is negative 1. And then solving this equation, I'm going to move the 10 over by subtracting 10, subtracting 10. Positive 10 minus 10 is 0, so all I have left over here is an n. Negative 1 minus 10, same sign, I add and keep the sign, so the answer is negative 11. So that's how you solve that equation. Now my third equation has got a fraction in it. I'm going to take negative x is equal to x over 40 minus 10. Okay. So let's talk about how to do this one. Okay, I want to isolate the variable. So here's my x. I need to get it by itself. So I'm going to move this 10 over to the 8. So to move the 10, I'm going to add 10 and add 10. When I do that, negative 10 plus 10, that's 0. So over here, I'm left with x over 40. And then I have negative 8 plus 10. Opposite sign, so I need to subtract and take the sign of the larger. I have more positives. Now I've got 2 is equal to x divided by 40. Now a proportion like this, the easiest way to do it is go ahead and write a 1 under your whole number and then do a cross product. So 2 times 40 is 80 and x times 1 is equal to x. So x is equal to 80. So there you go. That's the final one. Hope this was helpful.